Hey guys, this is Joe Madalone, and today we're going to take a look at Transclusion in Angular JS. Uh, first off, Transclusion is a horrible and scary kind of sounding name. Uh, I mean, it is a concept that's known in computer science, uh, but I think a lot of people get uh, dissuaded from messing with it once they hear what it's called, and it's actually a really simple concept. Uh, so we're going to put together a quick example here. Let's set up a directory, call it T for transclude, and we're going to use Bower to install Angular. Okay, give that just a second. And ta da! Nope, oh, there we go. Okay, so let's load this up in Sublime. And all right, let's start off. Let me zoom this way in. Start off an HTML document. Whoops, let's say new file. Next up. Uh, HTML and now we're in that so all right HTML document let's get our angular in place copy that as text script and we'll just uh, we'll keep that at the bottom and let's see we don't really need that and we're just gonna be working locally so let's get rid of that okay uh, so let's wire up our app really quick ng app equals call it app which is consistent and let's create our app so angular dot oops dot module app no dependencies and let's create a directive just like we've done in the past so directive uh, call this my d for my directive obviously uh, let's go ahead and just no you know what there we go, function. All right, so we're going to return our directive object. Let's restrict that to an element in this case. Uh, and then, I don't know, let's, uh, let's see if we can link that. There's our function. Scope element and uh, attributes. And we'll just say we're going to have a, uh, so let's say scope.title equals attributes.title. And then down here in our template, we'll say it's going to be an h1 tag. We've done this before. Uh, and we'll drop that title in there and close that. Okay, pretty simple. Let's jump up here and we've got our. My D, D, and we'll close that. Okay, uh, let's add that title attribute. It goes, hello. All right, let's launch this and see how it looks. And we've got our hello. Uh, if we bring up our inspector, we can see that we've got this H1 hello. So basic directive, nothing special there. Now, um, let's say we were, let's, let's change the name of this really quick just for, let's call it panel title, panel title. So, and the reason I'm renaming it is so that we're doing something more, uh, you might reuse this later. Uh, you might wanna pass this on to somebody or use it in a project and say, oh, you just need to drop the panel title directive into that. And let's take a look at what that does really quick. Absolutely same thing, uh, no big deal. Now, let's say that we had a structure and let me just kind of mark this up really quick page, page, title, you know, uh, close that, and then uh, we might have, well, we will close that, we might have something like page, content, and then close that, and so, so that's just an example of something you might have in, in your, in your project, and you want to just be able to pass this to somebody using this very declarative HTML, uh, and then they can, you know, work with it from that point. Now, the way we can do that is this panel title bit here. So let's say we want to let somebody use that and we just want to put the title in here. So this is the title. Now this is what transclusion does. All we need to do down here is we, we don't actually need this linking function unless we were doing something with attributes. Uh, but what we could say is, you know, you know, hey, HTML guy, you just use panel title and we'll take care of the rest. So they drop panel title in, they say what they want it to say there. And then we just say, on the, on the directive, we say transclude is true, okay? 
and then we just tell it where we want it to transclude, uh, which is really just, you know, grab that bit of content inside of this and drop it where I tell you. So ng transclude is how we do that. And I can get rid of this. Let's take a look at that really quick. And there you go. We've got our transclude inside of the uh, h1 tag. Uh, so, and we could obviously have a lot more going on here. We could have, uh, you know, a div with, let's just, you know, throw some style on it. Uh, whoops. Uh, what do we want to do? So, border on pixel solid red, and we'll get some padding of 10 pixels, and we'll come over here and just close that div. So that's a lot more uh, for this panel title attribute that wasn't there before. If we load that up, we can see we've got this whole panel uh, attribute or this whole panel title thing. And all, all the, the, the programmer, the designer, whoever it is, all they had to do is drop down panel title and put their content in there. Uh, and obviously the template could be building up all sorts of different things. Um, so that's, I mean, that's the gist of transclusion. Um, I will take it just a, just a quick step further to back to that example I was talking about. So if we had this, uh, and let's just call it panel, and we'll close that, and then we'll drop this right in there. And so we've got our panel and our panel title. So now what I can do, let me just copy all of this and create another directive, and this one will just be called panel. And let's say this is just gonna be the div surrounding that. Okay, so we're gonna take out this H1. We're gonna drop our ng transclude right onto that div. And then up here, we'll get rid of that div. And, whoop, and we'll, uh, there we go. So now we've just got this panel title and panel uh, uh, directive separately from each other. And yes, I do need to buy Sublime Text. Run out and buy Sublime Text. Uh, okay, so let's try this out. So same exact results, but now we've been able to kind of break down our components. And this is where you can really get to some cool templating. Because like I showed before, this could be panel, panel title. We could do a panel uh, content, you know. Uh, and then let's, let's just try that out. Uh, this is the content. And uh, so let's just say again, you know, we, we give somebody these requirements. We say, you know, you got to have a panel that can have a panel title, panel content. It could have a panel nav bar or whatever. And then we come down here. And uh, so let's let's create that one really quick. Same concept. No big deal. Uh, you already know what transclusion is. I'm just elaborating on it a little bit here. So uh, panel whoop, content. Back that up there. And on this one, you know, let's just throw that content into a paragraph tag, and uh, and we're good to go. So so whatever they type in there is going to be in a paragraph tag. And you know, let me just jump up here really quick, and just so we can see that, uh, we'll say p. Uh, whoops, let's get that cleaned up a little bit. Color is going to be uh, let's just make it blue. So there we go. Let's try this again. And there you go. Whoops, I got an extra curly bracket there. So there you go. Now we've got our, our title is in H1. The content is in this uh, paragraph tag. The entire thing is wrapped in this panel directive. Uh, so that's a, you know, very simple look at how to use transclusion. It's not as scary as it seems. It's really not complicated at all. And uh, once you, you know, uh, really wrap your head around it, I think you'll use it uh, pretty much everywhere. So there you go. That's transclusion. Hope you guys enjoyed it.